Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Asya and in this video I wanted to talk about Instagram and why I am not posting consistently. At first I have my currently Instagram account since 2021 but before I uploaded um, the videos from 2021 I had I also had an account between um, 2018 and uh, to 2020 or something like that. I didn't post that much and decided to delete all of my uh, pictures to start from zero and post consistently. Um, after that, I decided to participate on art challenges. Um, I like to do that because you learn by learning by doing and I like it to try new things. I wouldn't draw without any suggestion. So I want to start with the chapter one, um, the art challenges. In the past, I posted a lot of um, drawings based on an art challenge. Um, I loved it to participate on these challenges, um, but it caused me more stress and put more pressure on myself. I decided to spend more time while drawing to post qualitative drawings. Um, the only problem I had is that it took longer to finish and the algorithm of Instagram wants that you post as often during the week um, as you can. After posting a character drawing, I always had the thought that I earn more followers and likes. And I always hoped that the um, subscribers would stay. Um, a few times um, the artists wrote to, my, um, to me under my drawings and com complimented uh, me on my drawings. As you can imagine, the subscribers left me after a short time, maybe one or two days. That was the first chapter. Let's get to the chapter two. The topic is self-made drawings. Um, I noticed when I drew my own characters or drawing ideas, I got less likes or lost followers. This made me very, very sad and caused me to lose my motivation to draw consistently um, and posting what I'm drawing currently. Um, I think nowadays it is more difficult to get followers and likes through drawings. Um, as I said, I noticed that the drawings um, I drew with only um, Pinterest references or without reference got fewer likes than fan art or drawings from drawing challenges. Um, in the past, I drew a lot of traditional work. Um, I like it to draw on things like on my sketchbook, glasses, mugs, canvases, etc. Nowadays, I feel bad not posting on Instagram, but at the same time, I am not always interested in participating on art challenges 24-7. Um, I'm also not able to draw every day and do my best to post as often as I can. Chapter 3 Instagram Reels. Uh, since a few years, um, roughly since TikTok got viral as an app, um, Instagram and Facebook also give us the possibility to post short videos. A lot of po uh, people started posting Reels and they noticed that they earn more followers after doing it. I like watching Reels and I would love to post Reels, um, but I need to learn how to post good reels as often as possible. When you don't post consistently, you also can um, lose followers or subscribers. The Instagram algorithm is really hard for us artists and make us to post every day. As you know, I posted a few videos on YouTube and I really like it to post things, but I don't want to lie, <laughs> it is every week hard for me to post on the same day. I want to post every week, it is on Friday at 6 p.m. When I'm not able to post at this time, I am trying to post on Saturday between 12 to 6 p.m. When I would make reels, I needed to record while I'm drawing. Um, I saw that some artists just take a few seconds and a lot of videos and export it to an app to put every video sequence together to make a 30 or 60 second video. I also needed to put a music sound to my videos um, that it fits together and sound good. I think that make me um more stressful um and I don't want to to give myself more stress um to my life so um I don't do that that often. Chapter 4 my job. I'm working since 2 years in the kindergarten and I'm starting my 3rd year 
Um, it is really hard to work in full time, eight hours or more at the day. And after that, wanting to post stuff. Most of the time, I'm done at the end of the day and want to sleep or doing things to chill. I always dreamed about being a full time artist and only focusing on my art and being able to sell my art stuff um, online. I think that it is not possible to make this dream real at the moment. Um, I think about studying Bachelor of Arts in Germany. I search for a lot of um, universities, but every university would be a pri private and I needed to pay 500 euros or more per month. And it is not in my near and I would drive at least one hour to six hours per day or week. I'm earning money since two years and from my money I save um, half of the money um, I receive for my future. I'm dreaming of studying since 10 years and would be so happy if I um, could fulfill my dream. Um, I learned that I don't need to study to learn. I could learn a lot of skills through social media, what I'm doing right now, but I think you can also, uh, you can learn from other artists or professionals. Chapter 5. Love life. Um, I'm in a relationship with my boyfriend since 10 years and we spend a lot of time together. We are not living together and we are not able to do that right now. Um, we go out together every second day or two um, or three times a week. Sometimes we go out to eat, go to the movies, um, drive around or chill in the garden or in a park. Because we can see each other every day and aren't married or live together, we have to spend time together and make the best out of the situation. I don't like it to draw next to him and do my business while we want to spend time together. I want to enjoy the time without stress me out. I don't want to make him sad um, at the end of the day or just being on my iPad or smartphone. When I'm home, I like to prepare videos or post for Instagram or YouTube. For me, is my bedroom the best room to relax, record videos and cutting it into a video. Chapter 6. Um, YouTube. Since a year I'm posting YouTube videos and I'm trying to post consistently, I decided to, uh, to post more on this app because I think that I have more space to decide what I want to show you and what I want to draw by myself. Um, I can search for references and I want to show you tutorials like how to draw things or how to use this or that stuff. I also would love to make some um, animations and um, show you how I do that and learn new things. Um, I love it to try new things, drawing traditionally and digitally, and I would love to show you um, my process. I also would be happy to see how I will improve making videos and posting stuff. I'm really happy that I started YouTube. I always dreamed about starting a YouTube channel, but I was always scary to not being good enough. Um, I always scared not talking good in English or that you would not understand me or being too lazy or too boring. Since I started my YouTube channel, I have the thought that I can decide for myself again what I want to draw and what I want to post. I can decide in which direction my videos should go and how I want to end up my videos. If you want, you always can write me down in the comments if you have a suggestion or any idea what I what I should draw in another video. Um, I know that I don't have that many followers, but I'm really proud of every subscriber. And like I said, I feel more free while drawing. P.S. I want to draw and post more consistently in the future again, but I will not stress myself when I'm not able to post. I am working in a full-time job and I need to think about myself and my health. I stressed myself in the last few weeks and um, and I will not hurt or destroy my body with stress. You probably noticed that I designed this video differently than my other videos. I wanted to, to try something different and I would like to know what you think about it. Write me down in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you want, you can like this video and subscribe my channel. You also can follow me on Instagram or TikTok at John by Asia. See you next time. Bye.